Okay, in this example, uh, we're shown a uh, relation uh, which is expressed as a table. And um, the question that we're asked here, uh, is this relation uh, also a function? So um, remember, a relation is just a set of ordered pairs. Uh, here we have our ordered pairs arranged in columns. So the inputs or the x coordinates or the first coordinates in each of the ordered pairs are in the first row here of the table. And the outputs or the second coordinates or the y coordinates of each of the ordered pairs um, are in the second row uh, of the table. And recall um, what makes a relation a function uh, is if each input in the relation is matched with one and only one uh, output in the relation. And so you can also uh, say uh, um, a relation is a function if each input is matched with exactly one output um, in the relation. So uh, uh, to uh, determine if this relation is a function, we simply have to check each of our inputs uh, in the relation and make sure that it's matched with only one uh, output uh, in the relation. So let's just go one by one and do that checking. So here we see minus 6. Uh, is uh, used as an input in the relation. In other words, it's in the domain of the relation. And you can see that minus 6 is only matched with the output uh, minus 16. Um, so that's fine. Uh, minus 4 is only a uh, matched with the output minus 10. Uh, so that's OK. Minus 2 is only matched with the output minus 4 and no other uh, different output value. So that's OK. 0 is only matched uh, with the output 2. Uh, no other matching output value, so that's OK. 2 is only matched with 8. Uh, 4 is only matched with 14. And 6 is only matched with also with 14. Um, so indeed, this um, uh, relation uh, seems to meet the definition of a function. And so I think the answer uh, to our question here is um, yes. Uh, this relation is a function. Now, you may um, uh, be confused by the fact that the uh, output put 14 appears twice in the relation, but that's OK. That doesn't keep the relation from being a function. The key uh, thing we want to check is that each output is, is matched. I'm sorry, each input is matched with one and only one output. So you see here, although 4 and 6 are both matched with uh, the output 14, 4 is only matched with the output 14, and 6 is only matched with the output 14. And so that means that. Um, uh, again, each input uh, is matched with exactly one output. And so um, this relation is indeed a function. Now, um, how would we, uh, uh, what could we, uh, ordered pairs could we add to this relation so that it would no longer be a function? So let me add some ordered pairs uh, that would keep this uh, relation from being a function. And see, for instance, if we um, use the input 6, uh, again, and matched it with a different output, say for instance uh, 10, then this relation, although it's still a relation because it's still a set of ordered pairs, is no longer going to be a function because there you have the same input, 6, matched with two different outputs. That's what we cannot have uh, in a relation. It's okay to have the same output matched with two different inputs. Um, in a function, but you cannot have uh, the same input matched with two different uh, outputs in a function. So this relation would not be um, an example um, of a function. On the other hand, um, suppose I slightly change this and uh, I add this ordered pair to the, to the relation. So I sort of I repeat uh, the ordered pair 6 and 14. See, this is still an example of a function. Although you have the input 6 appearing twice in the function, in, uh, 6 is still matched with the same output in, bo uh, in both cases. So uh, this would still be an example uh, of a function. It's a little bit redundant because we have uh, the same ordered pair appear appearing twice, uh, but it's still uh, an example uh, of a function. Uh, you don't have the same input uh, matched with two different uh, matching outputs. So um, indeed, uh, the original relation that we're given, and also this one, uh, they're both examples of um, functions.